Hi, I'm Chris Barnes. I'm here with the ever so talented Kim Terrell Kearney and former Junior Team USA member and the youngest member on the PBA Tour, Sean Rash. And we're going to talk to you today about lane play. Sean, on the PBA Tour, what is the first transition you see and what are the, what are the indicators for you? Well, Chris, on the PBA Tour, you see five different patterns throughout the season, not counting our major patterns that, of course, are very difficult. But the biggest thing I see out there is making sure that people stay confident. The two moves we always face are breakdown or carry down. The first thing with breakdown is I always move left. I have to move left because of my rev rate and ball speed because the front's hook so much. When I see carry down, the biggest thing I always try to do is make sure I change balls, make sure it gets around the corner to get the weak 10 out that I've been seeing before. But all those great players on tour like Chris Barnes and Walter Ray, those guys know how to do it. So I would definitely learn from those two individuals plus all the other guys on tour. Well, that's very gracious of you, Sean. Uh, Kim, what kind of transitions do you see and then what kind of moves do you make? Well, some of the moves that I make is, you know, I've bowled on the ladies tour for many years and we see some of the same things that, that Sean does is we start to see a little bit early hook. The ball starts to check too soon and it sometimes just goes right through the face. So I really think about either, you know, my first instinct is to move left. I want to move left, but my rev right doesn't always allow that. I might end up getting too far left and I can't get the ball to return and hit well. So I tend to try and stay further right. I may ball down, use a weaker ball, or sometimes I use loft as a, a way to kind of save more energy. You know, a couple different tools that I try just to stay right longer for a better angle of entry. Well, and those are two great suggestions. I think one of the things that we hear often from our pro-am players is, well, is my flat 10, is that caused by the ball using up too much energy or is it just not hooking enough? The easiest way for that to tell sometimes is with someone else to watch your ball through the first 15 feet. And if it's go ahead and, and hooking early, then your ball's probably wearing out. At that point, you can shell down like Kim does, or you can move left, get a little bit softer like Sean does. And the third option is to use a hand position that changes your axis rotation, gets the ball further down the lane, and allows it to hit. If the lanes are difficult, the hand position probably won't work, but one of the other two options will. If you have any more questions about lane play, see your USBC certified coach.